Far above Cayuga's waters, Cornell University is located in sunny Ithaca, New York. Cornell is a large four-year institution where, in the words of our founder, Ezra Cornell, any person can receive instruction in any study. Hi, my name is Brian Mitterator, and I'm the team leader of the Cornell University Autonomous Underwater Vehicle Team. CUAV is predominantly undergraduate and currently consists of over 40 members from a variety of academic backgrounds. The team is made up of students from three different colleges and over 10 majors at Cornell. CUAUV is broken into four groups, mechanical, electrical, software, and business. The team works out of the Experiential Learning Lab here at Cornell, which is a lab space dedicated to project teams like ours. We are very grateful to the university for the use of this space and for the support they've given to us over the years. Our 2011 vehicle is named Drekar and was designed, built, and tested in a 10-month design cycle during the past academic year. The mechanical team has worked hard this year in order to make a more compact, rigid, and lightweight vehicle while keeping access and maintenance easy for the entire team. Mechanical components of Drekar were designed using software such as ANSYS and SOLIDWORKS. The entire vehicle was fabricated in-house by members of the mechanical team using machine tools including CNC machines. Some features of Drekar's electrical system include a hot solvable power supply, which allows for constant vehicle uptime, a custom universal serial protocol, which gives all the boards plug and play capability and greatly streamlines our development process, as well as multiple voltage rails to provide power to Drekar's vast array of sensors and actuators. Our vehicle software infrastructure starts with a quad-core Intel processor running Debian Linux. The heart of our system is shared memory, which gives safe inter-process communications using a centralized vehicle state. Tying all these together is a mission planner, which allows us to construct complex missions out of basic tasks. This year we focused on improving mission fault tolerance through the use of DVL positioning. Over the last two months, we've been rigorously stress testing the vehicle, both in the campus pool and in Lake Cayuga, in preparation for the competition. One of CUAUV's other missions is researching Cayuga Lake. We currently partner with the Ithaca Floating Classroom Project to survey marine growth at the bottom of the lake and help local residents understand the lake ecology. We've had a great year and we're looking forward to competition. 